This scouting report is about a playoff game. Absolutely. Those are the best kind of scouting reports. John, congratulations on another playoff appearance for the Titans. Very exciting to be back in. You've got Baltimore at home Sunday afternoon, 12.05 kickoff Central Time. Going to be a thriller, no doubt. Yeah, we're excited, Mike. Excited for the team uh, and the organization to win the division, to be champions of uh, AFC South, and to have another crack at the playoffs here and familiar opponent in Baltimore. Now, the Ravens are on a five-game winning streak. What are they doing so well? Yeah, they're, they're playing really well. You know, they're hitting explosive plays on, on offense over the last five games. I think they're averaging close to 38 points a game. You know, defensively, they're only allowing about 18 points a game. So they're dialed in to, to both systems on offense and defense. We saw them on November the 22nd in Baltimore. Anything significant change about their club since we played them less than two months ago? No, it's you know it's still it's still you know ground attack on offense and and you know there's a lot of a lot of pressure and a lot of blitzing from Coach Martindale on defense. You know they got a couple guys back who who we didn't see. Averett in the secondary, a corner, Calais Campbell, who we know you know all too well from his time in Jacksonville, and then and then Brandon Williams, you know big nose tackle in there. Those three guys are back on the defensive side of the ball. The Ravens have the number one run offense in the NFL. What's so hard about defending their ground game? Yeah, they've got, you know, they got a big offensive line that, that paves the way for these guys. You know, Lamar's the reigning MVP. He's such an explosive, dynamic player with the ball in his hands, whether throwing it or running it. Mark Ingram has been a Pro Bowl runner. Dobbins is not playing like a rookie. He runs hard. He's a tough guy to tackle. He's got good burst. You know, that's it's just a really explosive running attack, and they, you know, they get to a lot of different runs with different formations, different motions, and different shifts. John, you mentioned Wink Martindale's defense. The Ravens have 39 total sacks, but when I was looking at the individual totals, it's like every guy in their roster has a sack. Is that one of the real challenges is that they will get everybody involved in pass pressure? Yeah, they do, Mike. You know, that's kind of his his MO. He cooks up a lot of stuff. He dials up guys for, from everywhere. You know, they'll they'll show, you know, what looks like it's gonna be a weak side pressure and kind of overload that side, and then they'll bail those guys out into coverage and and guys end up coming from the strong side. They'll cap blitz the corner from the boundary, you know, trying to get a you know an extra run force player in there. So just a lot of stuff to prepare for, a lot of guys to be aware of and account for in the run game and especially the passing game. Baltimore outscores their opposition in the first and second quarters by a lot. I think that's safe to say. Mm -hmm. What do you do to stop that fast start? Yeah, I think Amy, we got to we got to uh, you know try to minimize these explosive plays. You know, make make these guys uh, offensively, make them go the long road, make them make them earn it. You know, when when a team can get you know some explosive or chunk plays on you, which you know we are, we are able to do sometimes offensively, it just gets the defense on, on their heels a little bit, and you're just not quite in sync. So we've got to limit those explosive plays. Got to do a great job of tackling these guys. We've done it before, and we're going to need it Sunday. John, thanks so much for the time. Good luck against the Ravens. Hopefully, moving on in the playoffs. We appreciate you being with us for the Farm Bureau Scouting Report. Always enjoy it. Thanks, guys.